All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Got in last night about uh, 1 30 in the morning. Uh, however, on my trip, I had a great conversation with my friend Ethan Manning, Manning and Sons, about what the processes are for FFLs up in Illinois right now. And uh, we'll talk about that later on, but had a great conversation with him, Manning and Sons. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you watch the news, and a lot of people do, and if you get Twitter or Twitter or Twitter or whatever the heck they call it today, um, you will have heard that. Alec Baldwin is being charged with involuntary manslaughter. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, they're actually going to charge him. Uh, Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office. Uh, okay, so what's the purpose of this video? Um, I want to talk to you one-on-one -on -one about something, gun safety, because this is something that I think that there's some hypocrisy in the whole thing, okay? Uh, Hollywood, they're all preaching about the firearm and gun violence and everything else. And these are the first people who know absolutely nothing about firearms, okay? And and what I'm saying is, you and me, right? We 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 treat firearms, they're loaded. They're always loaded, never point a loaded gun at somebody. Unfortunately, in Hollywood, not unfortunately, but, you know, John Wick, you've got uh, this movie Rust. You've got a bunch of other things that are going on. They, are, they use firearms in movies because people like guns. They want they like guns in movies, but uh, but typically these idiots they're like everybody who owns a firearm is a potential criminal, or you're going to kill yourself, or you're going to poke your eye out with that thing. So anyway, I I am going to pick up a firearm in this video, so hopefully they'll go ahead and monetize it. So I, a couple weeks ago, I did a video talking about uh, I don't know. I brought up this thing right here. This is a Springfield Army. Speaking of which, the guys up there in Illinois, and this is a V16 long slide. So if somebody hands you this firearm and it's in this condition right here, what's the first thing you do? I'll go ahead and give you a little bit of an opportunity to go ahead and list it down below. But what's the first thing I'm going to do is this right here. Da -da -da -da. I'm going to look, make sure she's clear and unload it. Typically, if somebody were to hand you a firearm, I'm going to hand it to somebody in this condition. Okay, with the slide open, unloaded, so that they, one, can check it themselves. This is where I disagree with what's going on with Alec Baldwin. Okay, so I hate Hollywood. I can't stand them. I'll watch a movie here and there, you know, but I don't sit there and go, oh my God, pat yourselves on the back with another award show, right? But here's the deal. These idiots know nothing about firearms. They know nothing about safety. I noticed I saw something about Will Smith and somebody was pointing a gun at him. He was like, whoa, you know, and I applaud that guy. That's, that's, that's what... People need to go through firearm training before they go into a movie set, period. Secondly, in my opinion, any firearm that's used on a movie set should not be a real firearm, should not be able to shoot a live round, period. If you got, so you see these firearms that are being used, the M4s or whatever, M60s, that kind of thing. What they'd have is a little tiny itty bitty hole at the end of the barrel, which it, what it does is it restricts it. It makes the action go back with the gases. Correct me if I'm wrong. I may be. I don't know. But in any case, they can't actually shoot a live round. I think, what was it? Uh, Bruce Lee's son uh, during The Crow. He got uh, hammered during that scene where they were walking across the table. Uh, well, anyway, so you hand a gun like this to somebody, they can verify it. Hollywood, they don't know about these things. Uh, so he was handed a Colt, just like this guy right here. This is a new birdie, okay? This is a really neat firearm. But if somebody were to hand me a a revolver like this, which is single action only, okay? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the window right there, or whatever you call that thing, and I'm going to go just like this. I'm going to go roll through the cylinder. I'm probably going to roll through it more than once just to make sure that I didn't miss something. Now, the misconception, and he said this to George Papanopoulos in this uh, video that they uh, put out today, that he didn't pull the trigger. Well, guys, I'm going to tell you something. I can sit here and pull this hammer back, and it goes into a safety part right there. You get right there, it's, it's going to rotate the cylinder, and only when it comes right here, you still cannot just let go of the hammer. It's not going to happen. Was there a malfunction? May have been. They should have done some analytics or, uh, say, uh, what do you call it when they do uh, autopsy on the gun. But the only way this thing is going to go off is by pulling the trigger. Now, here's the thing. Who, somebody not experienced with this thing, it this this particular trigger right here is maybe a two-pound trigger. You have to barely touch it for in order for it to go off. And when you carry this thing, you actually carry it with the hammer down on an empty cylinder. Or Yeah. Okay. 
So that's the different. That's the difference. All right. So here's where I, I I feel like this idiot who doesn't know anything about firearms may have used one or two. You know, they always preach, you know, gun control, gun, you know, gun violence, and blah blah blah. And I don't know a damn thing about a clipazine zoid or whatever it is. He was handed a firearm, okay, that was supposed to be checked by the what I said, a unit armor or the set armor. It was also supposed to be. It was checked by the. Uh, one of the associate producers. I think it was the husband of the lady who was killed. It was checked 20 times. So this idiot who knows nothing about firearms was handed a cold firearm. He doesn't know to check it. He doesn't know how to do anything. And he reaches over, he pulls the trigger, and somebody dies. So that's what I'm thinking. This guy is an innocent idiot. And that's what is going to happen. This, this little girl, the armor person, is ultimately, at the end of the day, responsible to make sure that that firearm is not loaded with anything that is live. And she failed. And she handed a loaded firearm to Alec Baldwin, and he shot it. Now, this is just my deal, okay? I, you tell me if I'm wrong on this. Uh, but his ignorance, his stupidity, and I know that stupidity and ignorance is not an excuse. And at the end of the day, he's going to learn this. But he should go on a, on a, a ad campaign. Learn your learn gun safety, because if you do, you can save lives. Because idiots do go out and they are able to buy guns. And guess what happens? People get hurt. Prime example right here. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Alec Baldwin. Yeah, the uh, Colt will not go off by letting the hammer go. And he's a dumbass for going out there and blabbing his mouth to George Papanopoulos and uh, saying some stupid shit before he uh, should have uh, figured out he might be charged. Would he go to jail? Who knows? Let's see what happens. We'll follow the story. You guys, uh, I miss being at SHOT Show. I'm kind of jealous. Flying Rich, please don't do that thing you were doing earlier. That scares me to death, man. And watch out for the Mexican. Nah, never mind. Anyhow, it's KB32. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. KB32, I'm out of here. Boom. Oh, yeah.